How to calculate portfolio required rate of return under capital assets pricing model. We will learn in this video. So let's get started. Okay, we have a questions. Okay, in this questions we can see that we have a risk and return data of the market and portfolio. Actually, I have taken this value from the our previous video you can watch that video by clicking on the i button okay and uh, here i have put five percent randomly for our risk free rate of return okay all these value are in the form of percentage okay now based on this question let's calculate the portfolio required rate of return under this model okay so we have a uh, three steps followed by preparing the given data calculation of required portfolio rate of return and conclusion and decision okay and now you can see that i have partially done the first step which are nothing but it's a question part you can see that that is this area okay okay now let's go to the our second step to calculate the required portfolio rate of return and it can be calculated by using the formula displayed here okay so i'm going to use this formula okay and show you the value so press the equal to sign press the equal to sign and now click this one plus and click this one times press the double uh, open parenthesis now click this one minus this one now press the close parenthesis now press the divide sign from your keyboard and now click here and now and now click this one now press the close parenthesis now press the enter key okay 8.94 percent okay so this is our required portfolio rate of return now let's move on to our last step that is the conclusion and decision under this step our decision board is showing that investment should be made in this port in this portfolio due to high expected rate of return of the portfolio than required portfolio rate of return okay you can see that and now let me tell you one thing here i have made this decision board automated by using the if function here you can see here okay let me zoom in for you so that you can see easily okay you can see here I've used the if function here. If the condition will meet, the, the statement will show like this. Okay. So guys, we are done. That's all for now. If you find it useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Signing off.